with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, we started off this morning with crystal clear skies, uh, even some chilly temperatures too. But now as we've gone into the early afternoon, starting to see those clouds bubbling up, a little bit of instability and some cold air aloft now and watching for a cold front moving in. So as you can see from our Harrisburg sky cam at this hour, no longer seeing the clear skies, but we still do have a fair amount of sunshine. Our temperatures are warming up as well. 58 degrees already here in Harrisburg. Dew points down into the 20s. That's another concern I have for uh, as we go through the afternoon is it's pretty dry and we all also have gusty wind, so the fire risk is uh, a little bit elevated today. That relative humidity at 28%. West northwest wind sustained at 23 miles per hour as of the latest observation. Some gusts even higher than that. Right now, our other temperatures are ranging about the mid to upper 50s. Uh, one of our cooler spots in Lewistown at 52 degrees at this hour. Radar is not picking up anything here in our area, but just behind our banner and a little farther to the north, that's where the cold front is, and that's also where the showers are as well. We are seeing those winds anywhere between 15 and 25 miles per hour again out of the northwest and as we've gone through the morning hours we've watched that cold front drift down to the south and this cold front is going to be a pretty major player for us here as we go into the weekend because it's going to give us an injection of some colder air cold enough to support some snowfall here especially if we go into uh, early Sunday morning now through the rest of today in the news 8 storm team forecast a few of those clouds through the day and an isolated evening shower can't be ruled out but they should be few and far between the big story today will be the blustery wind gusting around 30 to 35 miles per hour at times. Now the winds should die down as we go through the evening and it won't be as windy tonight. A little bit of a light breeze still lingering. Chilly lows tonight though, down close to the freezing mark in a few spots with partly cloudy skies. Then we go through the day tomorrow and uh, clouds will be on the increase through the day, especially the afternoon, almost turning overcast, unseasonably cool as well. Highs only in the 40s and we will be watching for precipitation to work its way back in. Now we, talk, we say rain snow because look at the highs, mid 40s. So as it begins to work in uh, the rain, that is, it'll start to cool things down and eventually we should change over to at least some light snow. It looks like overnight into early Sunday morning here is the energy for that system right now. It's gathering in the central plains, pretty disorganized at this point, and it's going to swing across, gather some Gulf of Mexico moisture, and then eventually curve up the coast. There's a lot of questions as to exactly where this is going to track. It's starting to become a little bit more clear that New England probably going to get hard, hit hard from this storm. But we, on the other hand, going to be a close call on the northern fringe of some of that uh, heavier snow. So as we go through the uh, afternoon hours today, yeah, expecting those highs pretty close to about 60. We cool quickly this evening and tonight down to about freezing. Then the clouds start to roll in through the morning hours tomorrow, especially into the afternoon. And here comes the snow knocking on our doorstep tomorrow. I think it actually going to be starting off as a little bit of rain snow mix. And then we go in through the overnight hours. That's when the precipitation, the snowfall begins to lift in. And there you go, Sunday morning, we've got snow all across the Susquehanna Valley, at least according to Predictor. Some of our other models are keeping this more to the south and really giving us a glancing blow overall. Oh, regardless, it should be starting to wrap up here into uh, looks like later parts of Sunday afternoon. In terms of total impacts, Temperatures are going to be concerned and also the heaviest is going to fall during a time where those temperatures are likely above freezing. So uh, because of that, we may see a couple inches falling, but it's going to have a hard time sticking to the ground. So right now we're going with a low impact event for us here as we go through uh, Sunday. It should be tapering off into Monday blustery conditions with some snow showers. And then look at that towards the end of the week. If we see any snow at all, it won't last long because look at the numbers. They climb quickly. We may be making a run near 70 degrees, believe it or not, going into Thursday. <laughs> so first day of spring, not going to feel like it, but just give it about three or four days. Right. It's March. I mean, there that's the way things go. Yeah, absolutely. Right around here. March. Yeah. Thank you very much, Matt.